Hi guys, how you doing? Hope, hope everyone, everyone is doing great. Oh my god, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so today I have a different video from my usual last videos at least. Um, first because this one is in English <laughs> and uh, also because it's been a while for those of you who actually have been following or those of you who at least saw once my uh, longest video, uh, videos that I did a while ago, I mean. Uh, on fitness, mostly real-time workout videos, me following for the most uh, the videos from Zeus, um, the workouts from Zuskalite, so type of cross training, you know, circuit training workouts, which it, which are the ones I like the most, I enjoy the most. It's been a while since I did that, so if you maybe if you're curious, you can check my page, my my channel here for those videos. I have tons of them, so it's easy to find those. But um, anyways, today is I have a quick tip for you guys. On and this video is specifically for you, for those of you. Pardon, I just have to drink a little bit of water because pardon, I, I actually ran out of memory on my camera. I had to delete videos, so this is the second time I'm doing this, but but that's why that's why my mouth is actually dry because I was already talking. But anyways, it doesn't matter. As I was saying, this video is specifically for those of you who enjoy more of those that kind of uh functional training cross training crossfit calisthenics that type of workout which is my my preference as well uh this being said it can be tricky to quit uh, keep on improving in terms of muscle building or gaining strength whatever it is the goal it is but in th those two specific goals it can be tr tricky because if Tricky, I mean, when, when I say this, I mean, if you don't work out actually on a box or a gym, and if you work out at home, as I do, and you can you can still do have gains in strength and size and everything, you can lean out, cut out, whatever it is, you can have a great body, a fit body, and be healthy and strong, you can still achieve those goals doing workouts at home, you just have to be consistent, be in, uh, smart in terms of the workout. You have to know what you're doing in terms of workout, repetitions, rounds, uh, um, weight, all of that. Uh, rest, rest in between things. You just have to know know <laughs> a little bit uh, about the, the about working out, about the science behind it, and eat well, and all of that thing, all of, all of the, those good things that you already know, and sleep. And hydrate so yeah but it is still completely absolutely achievable it's not just a matter of oh I need to have a gym a full gym or whatever or uh, at least a home tons of equipment at home you don't need that you don't need it it's even more if you're like a man an ectomorph like a petite person as myself you definitely don't need it you definitely don't need it but even if you are you know uh, well I'm not saying like body like a bulk bodybuilder but if you are a regular person who work out you you have like some size and you want to increase either on strength or size or maybe lean out a little bit you know cut out a little bit whatever it is the goal like a reasonable goal a more attainable uh, goal if you're not like this pro bodybuilder or anything like that I have one great tip today for you guys um, in how you can increase your either strength, as I was saying, or size, or most mostly those two goals, with the equipment you already have. And if let's say if you are in in this for some reason you're not working out at a gym or at a box, you, or you prefer to work out at home, or it is winter and you want to go out, whatever it is, uh, you can still have a great workout and still. And, or better said, not hitting a plateau in terms of gains, whatever kind of gain it is, and still have one great workout with the same piece of equipment, meaning with the same amount of weight. So I'm sure I'll, I'll gonna sh um, I'm showing you now what I did today uh, in terms of um, one of the exercises I did on my ward today, which were was uh, deadlifts, and what I used, and this is the same charge I've been using for the last weeks few weeks um, is the this one you know where you you have uh, gas gas bin whatever this is called for heating the, the, the water and you know for the oh not the oven but the other kitchen you know what I mean I can't recall it right now so I'm sorry but you know what I mean 
this and th this is empty okay this is not full but uh that's not the point now the thing is what i did today i did five rounds of deadlifts with this one but first three rounds i focus on mass and strength and uh, for the two last rounds i focus more on hypertrophy slash endurance whatever you prefer to call it so with the same um, what i'm what i'm sharing with you guys the, the 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 available tip i'm sharing with you guys because i believe this is one great tip for you uh is two variations that are completely different in terms of heaviness in terms of uh how heavy you feel it in your body in your muscles you know uh with the same amount of weight you don't have to add any weight you don't have to have uh, f uh, more equipment th than the one you already have that's what i'm showing you so straight away I did first three rounds for the least amount of repetitions, which helps to build mass, overall mass and strength. How did I do it with this equipment? I did it like this. I did a sumo squat, you know, and you, you know, you have to have the proper uh, form for this. You have to know your, your form and all of that. Uh, so you're not like doing this hyperlordosis. You're not like this rounding, doing cyphosis anyway. Uh, um, as well and you have you can stick your knees you, you just bend your knees a little bit but you can stick them past your toes you know and you just have this erect firm solid posture you just do this and you actually squat which is even easier on your form it's just more natural type of form and now you grab the weight you know in this case it's, it's this this bin here gas bin and you you know you inhale exhale and here I am I I did a sumo squat I grabbed this and I lift this from that sumo squat position and now I can actually do that's what I prefer to do because this is not that heavy weight for me that's what I'm trying to say so I do a drop set negative drop slowly dropping not rounding my back not sticking it like this just natural form you know like this and and you exhale so again in one motion you know this is how you do it I did the first three rounds with this one like this in this form full motion as I just showed you for five six for the most seven reps and this is the rep range for maximum growth and, and strength for my quads or for my legs uh, you know so times whatever you would prefer to call it but the muscle is the quadriceps of course so for the and because in this way this is the most heavy variation now for the least uh for the more light variation better said on the same amount of weight uh i did the, the two last rounds uh, for a rep range of 15 for the most because that rep range from five repetitions to 15 repetitions for the most you're in this hypertrophy rep range so you're not building as much overall mass or strength but you're still working out your muscles in order for them to uh, to grow a little bit or tone as you sometimes people call it toning you know it's not just endurance you're still having some kind of gain or some kind of uh, beneficial uh, strength and growing and toning on your muscle. Uh, because that's not my primarily goal right now, uh, that's why I'm doing this mixing within one same workout, which is just okay, as long as you don't overdo your workout, and as long as you're not doing, uh, you're not feeling super taxing, super tired already right, in terms of cardiovascular, in terms of overall tiredness within your workout. And my workout with, uh, with, which wasn't only this exercise, but my entire workout was about 20 minutes, 24 minutes. And um, I was feeling super cool, super energized. That's why I did the, still this um, two more rounds because three rounds is the minimum amount of rounds you, you should do. Well, depending on the type of workout and again, the type of heaviness and the weight, but if you can handle the weight at least three rounds is the minimum but because i was feeling okay and the workout wasn't that long already i decided to do two more rounds and th those two two last rounds i decided to do them with the uh 
in a more higher rep range, but not that heavy because from 20, um, pardon, 15 to 25 and above that, uh, you enter that stage of endurance and you won't grow or gain mass. You just are uh, working your muscle resistance overall. Uh, so I can, saying it in a more uh, simplistic manner, but you know what I mean? For those of you who know something about fitness, uh, scientifically speaking. So now, like I just showed you the, the, the three rounds the, with more heavy rounds because I deep squatted, you know, and then I lifted the weight. Now I'm going to show you the two less rounds, less heavy, working your muscles in a different manner and still working your muscles, which is the regular deadlift or Romanian deadlift. I never know which one is which, but it doesn't matter much. Again, same good posture. You just... You don't squat deep, you just do this sort of, not like this, but you know, and you grab your weight and you pull, like you see, this is much more, much more, for me at least, because again, I'm, what, the tip I'm showing you is precisely the, how to use any equipment really, any equipment that you have that is usable for exercises that you can do whatever on a gym or in a box with more uh, or s s so to speak appropriate kind of equipments and where you can actually add weight to those equipments but you can actually do the same at home whatever you are w but at home it's more doable because you don't necessarily have an equipment like this you know uh, at, a, at, a, at the street or you won't you you won't be able to carry it to the street unless you go with, to a park with a with your car and this in your car whatever but if you want to make it do it accomplish it in a more doable and practical way at home this is what i personally do so what i just showed you guys this was the tip you can do two different variations still uh, uh hitting the main goals which are either hypertrophy you know or gaining mass or gaining strength but in a, in a different rep variation different um sensation in terms of heaviness on your muscles because of the variation itself and you can still um work on developing on keep on evolving in terms of th this specific exercise or this specific muscle group you know with w still one uh type of weight same amount of weight that's what i'm trying to say so yeah that's it so for me, my recommendation would be if your main goals are hypertrophy or gaining size and gaining mass, if you're maybe more petite person uh, like myself and you want to have had some quality size to your body or strength, my main goal is strength because, you know, the, the body or the, the gains in terms of muscle growth is just a sub-product of the, the strength training and the diet and, and all of the re, the remaining things you have to do anyways, but and the supplementation, whatever, and the rest and the hydration. But yeah, so that is my main goal. So for me, uh, and so this is why I decided to make this quick video, is for those of you maybe uh, are maybe not that motivated or, about working out or don't want to go or don't want to, uh, don't have the money or don't want to waste not wasting uh, i mean but you don't have to you don't want to invest right now on a gym or a box or whatever or you don't want it for any for some reason or you're not motivated for some reason this is a way you can motivate yourself with what you have at home because sometimes we have this the the tools already within us and in our in environment but we don't think about it many of us won't think about it and this is one great way that, that i just showed you you know with this where you can actually where you can actually uh do your still do your workouts great workouts and you won't hit that plateau you can still evolve you can still evolve in terms of um repetitions and and and, and the heaviness less or, or or more heavy heaviness on your muscles within one same equipment and you still feel you still feel the the, the accomplishment and the goals and still hit the goals you want to hit and this might be a way of motivating you to just start working out today you know start working out start eating right for your, for for your, for your type as well but i mean having a good, a good nutrition of course the sleep and everything and 
um, and start working out, just start moving, just start doing some strength training, which is the most important for me is for everyone, I would say is strength training above all things. But yeah, I'm just rambling a little, a little right now. This was the tip. Um, oh yeah, so I don't forget because this, this is important as well. Just the last note. Uh, as long as you're not above 25 repetitions within any one, each of any of these two uh, variations I just showed you, it's just cool in terms of uh, bodybuilding, so to speak, in gain and goals like gaining muscle size or mass or strength. But if you're above that, then you have to switch switch it up a, a bit again. You have to start switching it up a bit again. Either either you do more workouts on a on a on the week. Either you decrease your rest periods or uh, maybe you increase your, your, your series and rounds, uh, you have to switch it up. Then you'll have to switch it up a little bit. But this tip right now is just for, uh, the intermediate beginners. I'm not, I'm, I'm, uh, I consider myself an intermediate. I've been working out for many, many years now. Uh, but as for everything else, this is a, this is a, is a process and I've been learning a lot and I've been doing uh, crap as well along the way. It's just natural. I've been, this is my passion. So I've been uh, always uh, teaching, my, being self-taught on this and searching a lot of information. And I've been doing crap as well along the way and maybe being demotivated on, on the past. And I lost some weight last year because of work and stress. So that's why I'm a little bit I'm returning, sort of speaking, to the basics, which are always the best. Compound movements for strength and size, these are always the best. So that's why this video is for those of you who relate to this, to my, my personal journey, and who can find this tip usual. Yeah, um, useful, not usual. <laughs> yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tip, and I, I wish you tons of great workouts. Be active. Stay cool. Peace. Bye. <laughs> See you next video.